last week I missed you guys so much um, but today's video is actually gonna be a little bit different it's gonna be a vlog basically kind of like a walkthrough so I really wanted to vlog my Sunday but since I'm so busy on Sundays I can't really like stop and film myself because I'm so busy I just got some clips and I kind of wanted to walk you guys through like my Sundays and um, kind of like just show you guys what I do on Sundays and um, I love being in the house of God and being in the house of God is not boring, serving God is not boring, living for God is not boring and it's it's the best being in God's house and those who are planted in the house of God will flourish. Basically my goal with this vlog is just to show you guys that serving in the house of God is fun and there's a purpose behind it. It's all about the souls being saved, people getting delivered. And it's awesome so let's start it off I you guys can see I'm in a different location I'm in Alicia's home um, this week so I'm staying here with a couple girls I've been staying here since I believe Saturday morning yeah Saturday so let me start off with for Sundays I wake up at what time do I wake up I wake up at 4 30 a.m. so I got up I got ready I was ready before the uh, um, the rest of the girls which is destiny and Carmen and Alicia so I got up early and I made avocado toast for all four of us and we were out of coffee so two of us got iced coffee and the other two of us shared a bang we are currently getting ready for church so I'm packing up all my stuff right now um, what time is it? 5.47. Oh my gosh, we have to go already. Then um, I got to the church around 6 a.m. And I serve in media. So for Sunday morning services, I get there by 6 a.m. And I serve in social media. So we get there in the morning and we kind of just plan out like what we're going to do after we get our video idea, our intro idea for um, Sunday morning services for the social media we'll go out and start recording it I'll insert some of the video in here we're gonna be Vivi is gonna be vlogging the day one take over here it's gonna be vlogging and yeah yeah we're gonna take you behind the scenes of the social team at the yeah so right now we're getting inspo from Instagram you can't go down You really should have came prepared, but yeah. you should have. It's that Sunday. was our fault. All right, guys. Aurelie's is here. Aurelie's is here. She's a beast. Number two. Sarai. Hi. She this is my life or the admin. Day in my life, weekend in my life. This is a day in my Sunday. I'm doing like the whole weekend. So I'm staying at Alicia's. Cool. So. Oh, cool. Start it and then we can give it to someone and they can be like, alright, they, they, they take the camera from us and like, alright, this is where we're at. We're at praise and worship. Brrr, you know, just like random stuff. Stop! I, cut, oh, I cut you, yeah. catch you that. We came up, Kira came up with the idea and Aurelie's yes. of a vlog style story for the church. So, Aurelie's her first talent. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Thanks Aurelius for showing us upstairs in the main. Now we're gonna go check out our outside experience. Thanks Christian. Right now we're gonna show you behind the scenes of Freedom Kids. Let's go. Now we're 
gonna show you behind the scenes of baptism. It's Water Baptism Sunday. I hope you all enjoy Sunday morning setup. Today's service is at 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. See you there. Once we get that done, I um, after that, it's time for Sunday morning service and I actually sit in for the 10 a.m. service. So at the 10 a.m. service, after it's edited and posted, um, 10 a.m. service, I'll go ahead and sit in. I'll worship and praise, listen to the message and so on and so forth. Sunday this Sunday so I actually got to um, I got to film some people getting baptized I went behind the LED walls by the tank and I just took a video over the where the tank is at Get some videos of people getting baptized. This is my friend Giselle getting baptized. So it was awesome. Um, we had 102 people get baptized from our 10 a.m. and our 12 p.m. service. After a four-week class, they get to get baptized. And then I have some video clips of the service. The service was so good. It was all about praising God and why we praise God and we shout for God, we jump for God, we we dance for God. It's all it's all praise. All of that belongs to God because we praise God and it doesn't matter what it looks like, it doesn't matter what people think of us. We're going to praise God anyways and um, Pastor Liz actually preached because Pastor Jason was preaching somewhere else. Well, uh, my wife's about to preach. She's probably preaching right now. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to pray for our service and then I'm going to pray for our service in, in, in Los Angeles. Also. Father, I thank you for a spirit of wisdom. So for the 12 p.m. service, I actually, um, I don't sit in for service, but I walk around and I get footage of things and just pictures of anything we could post on our social media. So for... Um, for the 12 p.m. I was editing some of the baptism videos together. I still haven't finished the video. I should have finished it, but I was missing some videos. Um, and I want to go get a video of our loft, which is where we sell some um, drinks for people after service if they want to buy any. service it was baptism so I filmed some more baptisms sorry I'm looking down I'm looking at my phone and I'm like kind of just going over the day pictures kind of like this things that we could post on our social media these are from the photography chat but it's awesome then after service um, since I didn't I didn't have Amelia this weekend by the way she's with her dad so Amelia was there but her dad's the one that takes care of her um, this 
past weekend this weekend she'll be with me so amelia wasn't with me so after service was over and after the baptisms were over i left with alicia and we came back to her house very close to the church so we were able to come home and we ate and i actually didn't get a video of this but we ate um chicken and we ate rice and broccoli it was delicious and then after we ate that we actually went to go buy some coffee but we the line was too long so we just got bangs i'm with alicia and we're going to lifestyle freedom now um we're gonna we're drinking bangs we put our bangs in these water bottles so we won't spill it everywhere oh my gosh i'm about to carry that I might just put it in my green water bottle. Water, water bottle. Water bottle. Water bottle. <laughs> I just put it in my green water bottle. <laughs> okay, show them the trick. Okay. How we get. I mean, this is like training center status. <laughs> okay. Smart water. How did you pour it? Pour it in. Did it just spill? A little bit. Yeah, I just kind of went for it. Wow, I'm pretty next level. <laughs> Okay, let me slow it down because it's getting. Did it all fit? Yeah, I just have to wait for the bubbles to go down a little bit. <clears throat> perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> and now we're ready. I'm gonna bring you guys though to Lifestyle Freedom. The next launch is October 3rd. So, let's go. After we came home, we ate. Then we wanted to go get drinks. Then it was time to go back to church for a lifestyle of freedom. Um, and by this point, it's around 4 o'clock p.m. So we go back for lifestyle of freedom and we sit in for lifestyle of freedom. Alicia is a coach and I am an apprentice. Um, so basically, I'm just learning to be a coach one day in the future. So that's super awesome. Lifestyle of freedom is amazing. It's all about teaching you who you are in Christ and just learning to surround yourself with other believers and how to walk with God. There's praise and worship, just like a, any, like a regular service. We treat it as if it's a regular service. There's praise and worship, and then after praise and worship, we'll, go, we'll split up the classrooms. After announcements and everything, we'll split up the classrooms. Level one stays upstairs, so I'm in level one with Alicia um, for coaching. Um, and then level two goes downstairs. So we sat in for the message. The message was really good I actually got a video of one of our pastors preaching and it's amazing As the, as the zebras are all together, the lions that are in the in, are outside They don't do anything to the zebras It's weird because the zebras, the lions can destroy those zebras But there's so many zebras that the lions don't attack the zebras But guess what happens? One little brave zebra got really brave and decided they didn't want to be with the pack. So the camera zooms in on this little zebra, just leaving the pack. And you know what happens next. That zebra became lunch for those lions. The principle, the, what, 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 what's the point? The point is stay with the pack. Stay with the believers. Don't isolate yourself. What the devil does is just to isolate you, to destroy you, to take you out. See, he's seeking who he can devour. After the message is over, we go into encounter time, and that's when we pray over the students. So I go around with Lisa and I just help her. Um, and just learn from her. Uh, once we do encounter time, then we go into coaching time and me and Alicia will sit down with all the students and we'll talk about the message, they'll talk about what spoke to them and they'll talk about you know anything that they're going through and it's amazing you know it's just us sharing our faith and them sharing what they got from the message, what they got from their encounter and it's the best really it's just a whole bunch of people that love Jesus together and after Lifestyle of Freedom, it's around 6.30 p.m. So after Lifestyle of Freedom, then at 7 p.m. is Bible College. So at this time, I have around like a 30 minute break. So during this time, um, I basically just went down, I went downstairs and I helped set up for Try To. I put my stuff, because I'm in Bible College Try To, Trimester 2. So I want to go ahead, I set, help set up, I put my stuff where I sit and then after that, we go back upstairs to the main sanctuary, and then it's another service, but now I'm not serving in this one. I am actually receiving. Um, I'm taking a class in Bible college, so this is my time. You know, so is a morning service, but this is like really my time. Uh, we praise and worship. 
and it's so much fun as you can see from the videos I can't put music just because of copyright but it's this is like another level it's like a bunch of this everyone that's in Bible college went through lifestyle of freedom so at this point we know how to we like we know how to praise God we shout we jump we dance we you know we praise God without holding back at all the lifestyle of freedoms are amazing the lifestyle of freedom students are amazing they from they praise way better than we did like my batch when we graduated they're like they're on fire for God so it's awesome but then after praise and worship you guys can see from all the videos that I was literally like just I love I love Bible college. After praise and worship, we'll go into class time. <laughs> We're getting ready to receive um, from our class and basically by the time Bible college is over, it's around 9 p.m. Bible college was amazing. We learned about um, the authority of the believer through Jesus um, and then we learned about family groups and why we do family groups and um, what it means to run a family group and that it's biblical to have a family group they didn't just go to Sunday service but they also went from house to house and that's what family groups are so it's awesome to just be learning all of that and that's basically my Sundays um, Sundays are amazing I love Sundays I love serving in the house of God and it was just the best and so much fun so that's what my Sundays look like I feel like I've talked about it a little bit but I've never like really showed you guys like what I really do on Sundays and what my Sundays look like like I don't just go to Sunday morning service um, it's like the whole day the whole Sunday is just dedicated to God and his people and just receiving some of the things I like to take to church is like this little bag and it's where I'll take my camera, my extra chargers, my portable charger, um, my fan. I have like this little mini fan which is essential because I'll have this link down below because it gets so hot when you're just praising and worshiping but this fan literally, literally came through and what else do I take? And then I just take um a notebook so I could take notes for the sermon but that's basically it that's what I do on Sundays I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog enjoyed this style of video it's my first time doing a video like this so I really hope you guys enjoyed I'm gonna try to upload another video this week to make up for the video I missed so that's gonna be it for this video I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video bye guys